the slain mother whose little boy has never been found, Michelle McKnight, had her funeral paid for by the VFW. And now, as Alexandra Lewis shows us, those vets are going above and beyond the call of duty again. So far, the VFW has raised more than $10,000 in the wake of the tragedy of Michelle's murder. And also, they tell me that until late, little Zayden is found, they're not going to stop. I get choked up every time I talk about it. Veteran Jack Brandcamp can barely find the words to describe how the young mother's gruesome murder has affected him. But he knew he had to do something to help. We found out that the VA was giving the family a hard time on, on uh, burying her at the cemetery. Jack's Huber Heights VFW post sprang into action, receiving $8,300 to pay for the Air Force Reservist funeral through VFW Ohio Charities. She was a veteran, and she was not getting what she deserved. And veterans take care of veterans. And post 3283 still wasn't done. Since the funeral, they've raised even more money, some from absolute strangers. I was eating lunch the other day, and I was telling this gentleman about it. He pulled out his wallet and gave me a $100 bill. That's how we got up to $1,800. And today, through Facebook, they unveiled this bronze headstone that will sit atop Nichelle's grave. You see this. What, what goes through your mind? How do you feel? Well, I feel really proud of what we've done. It's been, it's been very rewarding. We're not here for the recognition or anything. We're just doing what, doing what we're supposed to do. And that proud obligation will include helping the family with Zayden's funeral, if necessary. I hate to know that that would be the, the outcome, but if, if that was to be, that's what we were going to do. That's what we will do. We will pay for his burial, and we will, we will get him a marker. And, you know, we have the money to do that. Nichelle's headstone is slated to be ready in 90 days. At that time, they will hold a special memorial for the family. And meanwhile, the search for four-year-old Zayden is still going strong. Reporting live in Huber Heights, Alexandra Lewis, ABC 22 News.